Good morning and welcome to Mr. Kukawara's Maths World. This is the way it is. Today I wish to speak to you about inverses, especially as they are applied to logarithmic and exponential equations. Now, the first, uh, there are two big steps, I suppose. And the first one is to uh, change your variables around, your y's and your x's. Okay? And then the second step is to make the new y, as it were, the subject of your equation. We sometimes want to do this in modern situations where if we're talking about two variables, um, we might want to make uh, the other variable the subject of our equation. So our first step, as I said, is to change the x's and y's around. That's all. It's a, it's a step that you will find hard to muck up. Now our job is to make y the subject of this equation. In this case, we are going to do that by um, firstly clearing away the 2 uh, and making e to the power of y the subject of our equation and then we'll take logs of both sides. So you'll find in all of this sort of thing you're either taking logs of both sides or in this case where you've got a log already exponentiating both sides. Okay, it's always the same step. So let's get the e to the y over here. So it's e to the y <coughs> equals 2 minus x and now all I need to do, <coughs> excuse me, is take logs of both sides. Therefore, L M E to the Y equals L N two minus X two minus X. Okay. Now the thing about uh, this is the Y using that um, log law. The Y can be taken down there. And we know that log base a, a is always equal to 1. Similarly, this is the natural logarithm here, so log e, log e, e will also equal 1. So that y comes down, that cancels itself out, and we are left with y equaling ln to the 2 minus x. So that one's done. There's no more to do to that. We've made y the subject of our equation. As I said before, in this process we are either going to be taking logs of both sides at some stage, maybe after a bit of preliminary spade work has uh, happened, or we are going to be exponentiating both sides. We know we're going to exponentiate both sides here at some stage because I've got a logarithmic uh, expression in there. So let's have a look at this one. What we can do is, well firstly we've got to swap our x's and y's. That is always the first step. So x is equal to ln 1 minus 2y like so. Now what I'm going to do is exponentiate both sides. In other words, e to the power of x is equal to, when I exponentiate this side, all it means is the ln goes out. And I'm left with 1 minus 2y. Okay. Now all we need to do is make y the subject of our equation. That's not too bad. So we're going to take that over there and that over there. So 2y equals 1 minus e to the power of x, just subtracting e to the power of x from both sides. And finally, of course, I will divide both sides by 2. So that's those two examples. Let's have a look at these. Um, I'll go back to those in a little while if you're a bit behind. Now, what have we got here? We've got an exponential expression, so we're going to take logs of both sides at some stage. But firstly, we need to swap our x's and y's around. So we've got x equaling 2 minus 3e to the y plus 1. Okay? What are we going to do now? Well, I would recommend we take this over here the exponential expression over to the other side and while we are at it what we're going to do is subtract x from both sides so we end up with 2 minus x like so 2 minus x now the next step would be to uh, we've got a couple of choices but the sensible one would be to divide both sides by 3 so therefore e oops e daisies e to the y plus 1 equals 2 minus x all over 3. The next step is to take logs of both sides. So, 
Therefore, now when I take logs of both sides, you can predict what's going to happen here, and unlike the first example, have a look at that if you're a bit unsure of what I'm about to do. But when I take logs of both sides, really I'm going to take that down there, uh, and so I'm going to write ln that, and then take the y plus 1 down there, and then the ln e will cancel itself out. So you can get used to just, when you're taking logs of both sides, writing down the exponent there, like so. And ln 2 minus x on 3. Okay? And finally, you would take 1 from both sides. Therefore, y equals ln uh, 2 minus x on 3 minus 1. And we are done. Finally, one final example, a logarithmic equation. I'm finding it's inverse, so at some stage I am going to do the opposite of taking logs, which is exponentiated. So, once again, switching your x's and y's around will give us this. x equals 3 plus 2 ln y minus 1. Okay, let's clear some stuff away from this side. Firstly, we will uh, subtract 3 from both sides, x minus 3, so that's going to go out. And I'm going to divide by 2 while I'm at it. Equals ln y minus 1. Okay, so what do we do now? We can exponentiate both sides, which means simply that that's going to go out, and I write e to the power of x minus 3 on 2. Therefore, e to the power of x minus 3 on 2 equals y minus 1. Finally, adding 1 to both sides and reversing, we get y equals, uh, add 1 to both sides, so e to the x minus 3 on 2 plus 1. Finished. That's my little video on inverses. Thank you.